Hello, I'm Dr. Shashank Shetty, consultant nephrologist and transplant physician in Astor CMA Hospital, Bengaluru. So today I'll be talking about uh, IgA nephropathy. So a lot of times we have patients, young adults especially, coming to our OPD with symptoms of facial swelling, leg swelling, frothiness in the urine, and sometimes passage of blood in the urine. So these patients, uh, we usually we detect in the, we get a urine routine done, which shows uh, protein in the urine with blood in the urine. And a lot of times we call this or label these patients as having something called as nephrotic syndrome. Younger patients, uh, say yeah, less than 12 years of age, usually we diagnose them to have minimal change disease. However, in young adults or older patients, we have a disease called as IgA nephropathy. IgA nephropathy is one of the most common glomerular diseases worldwide and it is very common uh, patient in our OPD practice. These patients come to us with history of hypertension or routine check of uh, during the health checks they found to have blood or protein in their urine. So how do we diagnose these patients? Uh, these patients can be diagnosed by a simple ultrasound which shows the kidney size and then we go ahead to do a kidney biopsy in these patients. Kidney biopsy nowadays is a very safe procedure which we do through a percutaneous route and a tissue from the kidney is removed and it is sent for testing to analyze what sort of disease the patients have. Kidney biopsies can also be done for patients for monitoring and also for our transplant patients. So how do we manage our patients with Ig nephropathy? One well, of the most important things to manage our patients is control of blood pressure. And how do we control it? We control blood pressure with the usage of drugs called as AC inhibitors. This helps in controlling the blood pressure of the patient. We usually keep a target blood pressure of less than 130-80. Patients with a lot of protein loss in the urine which is persistent, in these patients we have to use certain immunosuppressive drugs like steroids. These steroids have to be given say for a period of anywhere between 3 to 6 months and we monitor the progress of the patients. So to summarize, IG nephropathy is one of the most common diseases in OPD practice and I think the general population, especially younger adults, should be very much aware of the disease. In Astor CMI hospital, we do kidney biopsies very regularly and we find IG nephropathy very common. Our team is expert in handling and management of these patients with IG nephropathy. Any query related to the disease can be contacted through our team in Astor CMI.